Setting up Twitch emotes for the first time is such a pain in the butt, but it doesn't have to be because I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. I'm one of the laziest people you'll ever meet in your life, so you know that I found all the shortcuts to help you guys out. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube can push this out to other streamers to help them find this video to help them out. And let me show you how to set up Twitch emotes to your channel. If you're a brand new streamer, you might not know that you actually need to be a Twitch affiliate first before you can upload any emotes. So I've made this playlist in the top right corner, which is going to show you how to kickstart your growth on Twitch and grow to Twitch affiliate as fast as possible so you can access all the cool Twitch features. But if you're already a Twitch affiliate, that's fantastic. The first thing we need to do is go to our Twitch channel. Once you're on your Twitch channel like so, we're going to go to the top right corner, click our logo, and then we'll go to the creator dashboard. If you're freaking out because you're like, oh my God, Cody, there's so much stuff on the screen. Don't worry about it, fam. I got you. Next step, we're going to go to the left hand side. We'll click on viewer rewards, and then we'll click on emotes. You can see we have a couple different categories. Our first category is follower emotes. These are going to be emotes that your viewers unlock when they follow your channel. What makes them different than your sub emotes is that they'll only be able to use your follower emotes in your channel alone. However, if they subscribe to you and they use their subscriber emotes, they can use these on any channel on Twitch and not just your channel. We also have another category called bit tier emotes, which basically if they have over a thousand bits donated to your channel, then they'll be able to use these bits as well. And they have different categories for different tiers. You can also notice that there's two different types of emotes. We have standard emotes and then we have animated emotes. So we're going to be going over four different things right now. The first thing I'm going to show you is that there's a collection of free emotes that you can use provided by Twitch. The second is going to be a paid option that's going to give you more professional emotes to use. The third option is going to be how to make your own emotes just like my follower emotes like here. And the fourth option is going to show you how to do animated emotes. Now I know ain't nobody got time for that. So that's why I'm going to keep it as fast and simple and concise as possible. We're going to start with method number one, which is the free emotes provided by Twitch. If you look on the right hand side, Side here, you can see my collection of emotes that I've gone ahead and uploaded. So this is my library, as you could say. And then if you look on the top next to my collection, it actually says default emotes. So you can click on that and it says enjoy 20 default emotes in six fun colors. Wow, how generous. So you can see there's 20 different emotes here and they have them in different colors. So if you want it blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, then it's actually really simple to use. So let's say we wanted to do blue and we wanted to have the hype emote. Then all we have to do is click on the blue hype emote. It's going to show the chat preview on what it's going to look like when they type it in chat. And then the slot assignment, if we click that, it's going to do whatever slots are open. Most of my slots are full, but I did delete one of my tier one subs so we can use that for the video. So we have one slot in our tier one sub. So I'm going to click on that and then we're going to name the emo. So we'll just call it C pause M hype one because I already have a regular hype. So then we're going to click assign to slot. And now you can see it says emote successfully uploaded into your collection and added to slot. So let's go to our Twitch channel and confirm that. So if we go into our chat, we can click the little emote button. And then if we scroll down to my channel, we can actually see it's a selection right here. So we can click it and then it pops up in our chat. And if we hit enter, then it'll put it in our chat. But if you know the code already, you can just type that in chat. So if I type in C pause M hype, all caps, and then one before I send, it's going to highlight and say, Hey, this is a registered emote. So you can see the preview right there. We'll hit enter and it'll do the same exact thing. So you have those options, but let's say that you don't want to use Twitch's default emotes and you want to go for a more fancy paid option. If you want to go that route, then my pick, are the homies at own.tv, which is also today's sponsor. So help a brother out. Coupon code C pause below for 50% off. But for real, this is actually one of my favorite places to go, which I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can easily find this site. Specifically today, we'll check out their emotes at the very top. You can use their emote maker or you can do pre-made packages. We'll check out both of them real quick. So we'll start with the emote maker and you can go and actually make your own avatar by click make your own. And you can see we start with a blank asset, but we can go in and make it look like us. So you can go and add a hat. You can go and change bunch of different facial features. So I'm just going to quickly make one. I think this guy looks pretty rad. So we'll go ahead and generate the emote and it'll give us all of these different pre-made emotes that you can go ahead and choose from. You can go in and actually click and piece out the ones that you actually want. And once you picked out the ones you like, you just click on order emotes now. And it'll give you all of the download files, which you can just upload directly to Twitch. Now, if you're extremely lazy like myself and don't even want to do that, they also have the other one, the Twitch sub emotes, which already has a bunch of pre-made packages. You can notice that most of the new ones are animated, but if you scroll all the way down and click load more a couple times, then you can see some ones that are actually regular 2D animated, which you could use for your sub. So we'll just click on the live preview of the wolves because 
wolves are cute. And you can see that this package is going to include these eight wolf emotes that comes with a hype, a high, a heart, and a bunch of other stuff. You can also scroll down and see they have a bunch of other different animal ones too. And you can just keep loading more until you find a package that you want and you just add it to your cart, check out, and it'll give you the files. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check this site out. So let's say that you got your emotes and you're ready to upload them. Let's go back to Twitch. So we're going to go to the slot that we want to add to. In this case, it'll be a tier one sub. So we'll click on the one open slot. And then we have a couple different options. We have the auto resize option, which I wish I could resize other things in my life, if you know what I mean. And if you disable that, then you'll actually get the 112 by 112, 56 by 56 and 28 by 28. What a mouthful. So this was the old way of uploading Twitch emotes and also the safer way to make sure that you don't distort whatever image you have. But you can use the auto resize if you're pretty confident in the emote that you have, if you've made it yourself. But I'll show you both ways. So if you get an emote from somewhere else, like owned or an artist, they're going to send you the 112, the 56 and 28. So all you would have to do is just upload those. So click on 112 and then I'll click on the 112 and then I'll click open and we'll just rinse and repeat that for the other ones as well until they're all filled in. And then you can see that we have no issues whatsoever. It looks the way it should. But if you don't want to do that and you're pretty confident in the one size that you have, then you have to make sure that it's a square shape not be animated for this specific emote and has a resolution between 112 by 112 and 4096 by 4096 and a maximum file size of one megabyte. So I know that I have that, which is another option. So I'll click this and then I'll go on this one. And this one's actually 112 by 112 and it's less than a megabyte. So I'll click that, I'll click open and it'll automatically resize it so you don't have to have the three different ones. And in this case, it worked great because I followed all the guidelines they provided below. But if yours comes out nasty looking like crap, then it's probably because it violates violates one of these things here. But once you have your emote added, then we'll go and add the emote name. It's always going to be the first six letters of your username. So in this case, CPAWS music, CPAWS M is the first six letters. And then we'll add the emote name. So this is what's going to trigger it. It's going to be CPAWS M blank. So for this, we'll do CPAWS M dabbies because I already have a CPAWS M dab. So whenever someone types CPAWS M dabbies with a capital D, it'll pop up. It'll give you previews on what it's going to look like in chat. And then when you're ready, you'll click upload. It'll say it has successfully uploaded into the collection. So go to your channel, make sure to re fresh and then we'll go to the emote button. We'll scroll down. You'll see that I have two dabs, my original dab and then the one we just uploaded CPAWS M dabbies. So you could click the dabbies, you can click chat and we'll send it or you can type in CPAWS M capital D dabbies and then it'll also pop up right there as well. Hit enter. Same thing. If you want to learn how to make the selfie emotes like I did for these follower emotes or if you want to learn how to do animated emotes like these, I'm going to leave both the tutorial videos next to me because this video has gone on way too long. So you can watch both of those to continue the learning process on this. But if you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below. My name is Cody and I'll see you in the next one.